Okay, it's Thursday, 7.42, um, which means it's day Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, day six. I got here really late, 7 o'clock, 42 minutes ago. So I've had time to set up camp, filter some water, dinner sitting, cooling off, ready to eat. Um, got stuck on sturgeon with a, a lot of wind. Thought I'd take a break for lunch. Found a cool little site. But the wind got worse and worse while I was there. I ended up sitting there for two hours. So I kind of threw my schedule off. I passed by a really nice open campsite on the last lake but there's a 220 rod portage between there and here and I thought Ooh, let's just get that out of the way and then it's all smooth sailing from there well looking back I probably should have taken that nice campsite because now I'm stuck on a little campsite that is actually part of the portage so it's on the map as a campsite, but the portage goes up the trail and around behind my tarp and on. So I'll show you the camp. So there's the put in and take out down there. My canoe's over there for the night. Out of the way in case somebody comes through. Socks and shoes drying on the tarp line. There's the campfire set up. Doesn't look like it's been used. And I don't blame anybody for not staying here. Got my gear strewn everywhere. This is the outflow from one of the bee lakes. I don't know the order. into Fern. Fern Lake is that down there. It's pretty. As soon as I got here to set up, a squall came through. I'm trying to set the tarp up as it's blowing everywhere. And then a group of three come through to Portage. Uh, so I stopped setting the tarp up in case they needed room. But the Portage goes down this trail here. Yes, it's getting dark dark in the woods. I'm going to have to edit this sound out later, aren't I? I don't know. I think it's like a nine rod or something. I don't know. Pretty simple so far. Thing is, you're gonna put in here when you get to the end of this, and then immediately paddle the other side of the river and do another portage. And then you'll be into the first or third. Oh, look, moose poop. Um, I saw what I believe to be a wolf track and a moose track and moose droppings. I took pictures. So you put in here, paddle downstream a little bit to the other side, or upstream actually, go to the other side and there'll be a takeout a few hundred yards up. All that to get around that. If you're going downstream, you just float right through it. If you're going upstream, you gotta take the portage. Here's dinner tonight. Chicken rice with some peas and carrots added in. It's actually quite yummy, but that's probably just because I am really hungry and it's been a long day and anything hot is good.
we go. That's my first walleye of the trip. And the lake I was on didn't have, if I hadn't had dinner, this would be perfect for eating. So, there we go. Walleye number one. I have the Grand Slam. I caught lake trout, walleye, and pike, and smallmouth. So, now we just gotta get a bigger one. Off he goes. Yay!